Hello friends, in this video we cover the topic Arden's theorem. As we know that the Arden's theorem or Arden's method is used for converting a DFA into a regular expression. Okay, what is a regular expression is we already discussed. So, there are two methods for converting a DFA into a regular expression and the two methods are one is Arden's method and the another method is state elimination method. In my previous video, we already discussed and solved some uh, many examples with the help of this state elimination method and now we cover the Arden's method. Okay. So, this Arden method states that, that if P and Q are two regular expression over sigma okay, and P does not contain a null string that is epsilon, then R equal to Q plus rp has a unique solution with the help of r equal to qp, qp star. First point is that Arden's method and state elimination method, both method are used for converting a DFA into regular expression. But the main difference between these two method is that this method is applicable only when the DFA does not contain a null string that is epsilon. If a DFA contain a null string epsilon, then in that in that example, in that problem, we only use the state elimination method. So for Arden's method, the does, DFA does not contain a null string. Second, that we have to bring the final state in the form of in the form of R equal to Q plus R P and find out what is R, what is Q, and what is P. And then we find a solution which is a unique which is called r equal to qp star. With this, uh, with the help of this equation, we find the regular expression for a particular DFA. Okay, so to use the Arden's theorem, the following condition must be for, must be satisfied. The first step is or first condition is that the transition diagram or the DFA diagram do not contain any transition function that is that is epsilon transition and second most important point is to use the Arden's theorem there must be only a single initial state. So if these two conditions be satisfied for particular DFA then only we use the Arden's method. Again the DFA will do not contain any epsilon transition and a DFA which have only a single initial state in that case only we use the Arden's method. So, to solve the problem or to solve the DFA, we have or we follow some step. There are two steps for Arden's method. Step 1 say that we first we form an equation for each state considering the transition which comes towards the state, which means we always start with the initial state and we take all the state one by one and check from which state we, cons we can come to that state while reading any input. Then in the step 1 itself, then we add a trans epsilon transition in the equation of the only in the equation of the initial state. Now the step 2 is that we bring the final state in the form of r equal to q plus rp to get the required regular expression and after bring obtaining this equation, we directly convert this equation equals to r equal to qp star. So, with the help of these two steps, we find a regular expression. So, we take one example that first example is that we find the regular expression for the following DFA using Arden's method or Arden's theorem. First, the, first of all, we have to check whether this DFA contain, does not contain a epsilon transition, yes, because there are only two inputs 0 and 1 and the second, uh, second condition is that we only the DFA only contain one initial state that is A. So the two important condition must be satisfied. So in that case we use the Arden's theorem. Now what is the first step that we form an equation for each state means we have to equation for state A and for state B and for uh, while considering the transition which comes towards the state which means we have to first uh, if we have to consider the state A, this means that we have to check from uh, other than the A state, what are the other states 
and while reading in any input we come back to the state A which means if we if we are on state B while we reading one input B with one input it come back to the A so B on reading one input it come back to A and for B for for uh, um, creating the equation for uh, state B so from the state A with zero input it come back to A state so from state A with zero input it come back to state B so with the help of these two inputs or with these two steps now we form a equation how we create and one more point is that we have to add that epsilon transition in the form in the equation of initial state so first we have to create the equation for both the state state and a and state b so the equation for state a is b with one input it it come back to a so how we write this b dot a and for equation for state b is state a with zero input it come back to b so the b equation is a dot z zero okay and we have to add the epsilon transition in the initial state what is the initial state a so we have to add an epsilon transition in this initial state so this is step one now the step two is that we have to bring the final state in the form of r equals to q plus rp so this is step one now step two is that we have to bring the final state what is the final state that is state b so we bring the final state that is b in the form of r equal to q plus rp and then when we get this equation we directly convert it into r equal to q qp star so so we have to bring the final state so what is the final state here b equals to a dot zero so can we substitute this value of a into this equation yes so b dot one plus epsilon what is epsilon epsilon is nothing so in place of a so b equals to see here b equals to a dot zero so in place of a we have to uh, substitute this value that is b dot one plus epsilon dot zero this is b dot one dot zero plus epsilon zero epsilon zero is nothing that is epsilon zero is nothing that is zero plus b dot one dot zero so the equation becomes b equal to zero plus b dot one dot zero so now check whether this equation is in the form of r, r equal to q plus rp yes this is r this is q this is r and this whole is p so the equation becomes in the form of r equal to q r equal to q plus rp now we directly convert it into r equal to qp star so this gives r what is r here b equal to what is q q is 0 what is p that is 1 dot 0 whole star so this is the regular expression for this particular dfa by using the ardens theorem now we solve one more problem the problem is this that we have to find out the regular expression for the following dfa by using the ardens theorem now first we check whether the ardens can we use the ardens theorem here or not yeah. first this dfa does not contain any epsilon transition okay and this dfa contain only one initial state so this means that the two condition must be uh, is satisfied so we can apply ardens theorem here so the step one is that we have to create the equation for the each state that is for q1 for q2 and for q3 for q1 for q1 we have to check from which other than q1 from which state we can come back to uh, come back to q1 so there is no incoming edge to q1 so we cannot create any uh, equation for this q1 but q1 is an initial state so we can add a trans epsilon transition to the q1 now next we have to create an equation for q2 state now check from other than the q uh, q2 which state 
from which state we can come back to Q2. See here, Q1 with A input, it gives, it moves to Q2. So, Q1 with A, it moves to Q2. Other than this, uh, no other state, no other input or no other state can be moved to Q2. So, the equation for Q2 becomes Q1 dot A. Okay. Now, for Q3, check other than the Q3, from Q1 and Q2, can we move to Q3? Check. Yes. Q1 with B, we move to Q3. Okay. And Q2 with A, we can move to Q3. And Q3 with A, this self loop, Q3 with A, we can Q, move to Q3. So, how can we write this, uh, this uh, equation, uh, this form in the, in the form of equation? See here, Q3 becomes Q1B, Q1 dot B plus Q2 dot A plus Q3 dot A. Okay, this is step 1. Now, step 2 is that we have to bring the final state in the form of R equal to Q plus RP. What is the final state? Q3. So, we have in the step 2, we have to solve the value for Q3. So, Q1 is epsilon here. So, we can substitute the value of Q1. So, that is epsilon dot B plus in Q2 dot A. So, in place of Q2, can we write it epsilon dot A? This means A only. So, this becomes A dot A. And for Q3, Q3 becomes as it is. So, the now the state becomes Q3 equals to epsilon dot B plus A dot A plus Q3 dot A. But we have to bring this equation into in the form of R equal to Q plus RP. So, we sub solve this problem. So, this become B plus A dot A plus Q3 dot A. This is equals to Q3. Now, check this is R this is R, mm, this is Q, this is R and this is P. So, the equation becomes R equal to Q plus RP. Now, we can directly convert it into R equal to QP star. So, this become R. What is R is Q3 is equal to what is Q? B plus A dot A and what is P here? A star. So, the regular expression for this particular DFA is B plus A dot A a a star so this is how we use the ardens theorem okay so there is two uh, two more point which is very important for the ardens theorem that uh, ardens theorem cannot be applicable only for the dfa we can also use this ardens theorem to find the regular expression for nfa also so to find a regular expression we can uh, for both dfa and nfa we can use the Arden's method. And second is, if there exists multiple final state, okay, then we can write a regular expression for each final state separately in the same way and add all the regular expression to get the final regular expression. Means if we have more than one final state, so we can write the, uh, bring the final state in the form of R equal to Q plus RP and then at last, after we get the final R equal to QP star, then we add all the regular expression to get the final regular expression. So, this is how we use the Arden's method. I hope you understood it and if you have any query, then you can ask in our comment section. So, keep watching my video. Thank you so much.